Here we are again, opening up some Stella Crown. This is the Poking Center Stella Crown Elite Trainer Box. I'm opening this one up on behalf of a family member. Let's get started and see what we've got inside. So let's get straight into it. I have already opened up one of these on my channel on the day of the release. As I said before, it's for a family member. Hopefully we get some really nice pulls out of this box. You never know. It's always luck of the draw what we're going to pull. So as I say, they've got it a bit differently. They've got the card sleeves and the cards in the plastic. To, not the card sleeves. The card dividers in with the actual... Promo, as you can see here, let me see if I can get it to focus nicely. As you can see, this is the Poke Center one with the lovely stamp down the bottom. You do ha also have one without the Poke Center stamp. You've got your dice, your markers, your sleeves, your energy. And your packs of cards. What pools are we going to get? Everybody's after that turtle. Because it's meant to be payable, I think. Because I'm opening up this on behalf of a family member. I will not be handing out the code cards in this one. When it's my own, I will give you my, the code cards most of the time. Because I do use it a little bit on the TCG Live. So I can keep a couple for myself. Briar, Gossiper, Jolty, and an now Creamy for the rare. I still really like how the energy is in this set. I think it's really nice. Rather than just the solid colour that they've had a bit of a change, but it's definitely good. Get us straight into our next pack with the Poke Center. You do get a couple of extra packs compared to just the ETBs you buy in most of your game card shops or shops you buy, whichever shops you find them in. That's what I do enjoy. Opening up the Poke Center, you get a little bit extra in it. We've got a Wulu, Glass Trumpet, and a Carcosa for the rare. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that one right, but hey. I can't, we don't get all the pronunciations right all the time. I do give it a try. Parugly, Tortuga, Melton, Lishlander, Ockerberry, Bickerfold. I think we've got something in this one. We've got an Azumarill, a Deluxe Bomb, Reverse Hourglass, Trumpet. And a drew not for the rare. So we got our first pull. It's taken a pack to get to it. But a pull's a pull whichever way you pull it. Here we are putting it straight into the sleeve. Let's see if it does. See how many pulls we can get from this box. I feel that there's not as many illustrations in this set. It's not the biggest set, but it's not a small set either. The Shoddy Fable is a lot smaller. We've got a Slow King, Celebi, a Creamy, Rocky, and a Melton for the rare. So we're getting through them, but we've still got plenty left. Here we go. Take the code card out. We have a Finion, Doris, Fido, Applin, Dubwool, Swallow, Mewtwo, a Grabin, Morgan, and a Carcosa for the rare. So. Maybe the box I had for myself was the better one out of these. Unless there's a good pull in the packs to come. So far we have had only one pull and it's an A-Specs card. 
Come on, we've got to have some more pulls in here. Oh, folks. Fletchling. We've got another Poe Ugly. A Fido. Lantern. Tretzko. Deancy. Cabomo. Oh, illustration, Archeladon. There we go, the pools are starting to come. And a cling clang for the rest. So, it's been a while since I've... Well, I've only been opening up a bit of pre-release boxes. And the ETB. So, I haven't had many of the illustrations. So it's, it feels like it's been a while since I've actually had an illustration from the guy. The Stella Crown. Here we go. Is our luck changing round? Will we have some more pulls coming through? Could we get some nice illustrations? Could we get the Squirtle? No, we got a Venusaur. Well, I will take that for them. They will be happy to get any pulls from this. They think when I open up the packs, I have all the luck. So far, they're up to three pulls. And we're down to the last four packs. Can we keep this going? We got a lovely Char Cadet. Clang, Psychozard, Open, Togamaru, Jirachi, that is a beautiful Jirachi at the seaside, at the beach. We've got another glass trumpet, Fido, Raya, and a Raging Bolt for the rare. Here we are, getting closer to the end of the video. If you've been enjoying this video, please leave a like. Subscribe. We're going to keep going and find out what else could we have. A nice big pull in here. I feel that the bo two boxes of the Poke Center. I haven't had many really big pulls from it. It seems to be a lot harder to get a pull from. And we've got a Lydian for the rare. So. Definitely a harder set to get some of the bigger pools. Haven't opened up loads and loads of this. Can we get at least one more pool from these last two packs? Aluminium. Lacey. Rapidash, not long had a community today. What? What on earth is going on here? One of the cards is in back to front. What on earth is that about? Well, what card do we have here? Oh, it's only a Cyclozard reverse. But what on earth was it doing in back to front? That is bizarre. Out of all the packs. I wonder what happened there. Well, that's the first time I've seen that happen. We're down on our last pack. Do we have one last pool? Got a Cubone. Right on. Paya pa Berry. Tornadus. Fan Rotom. Lapras. And for our last card, we have a Noctile. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.